The options market can be a confusing place. Sorting through the daily avalanche of data, alerts, updates, articles, and analysis to find the most important information is an overwhelming prospect. But now you have help. Welcome to the Options News Rundown, the only program that breaks through the noise to bring you the most important news and information from the world of options. Every day, we bring you the top five option stories curated by the options experts at theoptionsinsider.com, the premier source for options information. The Options News Rundown is brought to you by leveltradingfield.com the online communication research and quantitative platform with the largest collection of financial tools for traders including the innovative bitcoin market predictor the bitcoin market predictor is a simple prediction game where 10 people place bets on the future price of bitcoin and the top three most accurate predictions wins sign up at leveltradingfield.com with promo code INSIDER. The Options News Rundown is also brought to you by Market Taker Mentoring, the leader in options trading education. Get trader education, daily trade ideas, and more with a free one-week trial of Market Taker Mentoring's Live Advantage Group coaching class by visiting markettaker.com slash insider. And now, it's time to break through the noise. It's time for your Options News Rundown. Good morning. Today is January 11th, 2018. This is your Options News Rundown. I'm Dan Passarelli. Our first story of the day is from CNBC.com. U.S. producer prices fall for the first time in nearly one and a half years. U.S. producer prices fell for the first time in nearly one and a half years in December amid declining costs for services. The Labor Department said on Thursday its producer price index for final demand slipped 0.1% last month. It was the first drop in PPI since August 2016 and followed two straight monthly increases of 0.4%. In the 12 months through December, the PPI rose 2.6% after accelerating 3.1% in November. Economists polled by Reuters had forecast the PPI rising 0.2% last month and increasing 3% from a year ago. Today's second story comes by way of CNBC.com. U.S. jobless claims increase for fourth straight week. The number of Americans filing for unemployment benefits unexpectedly rose last week, hitting their highest level in more than three months, likely as a cold snap kept some workers at home. The initial claims for state unemployment benefits increased 11,000 to a seasonably adjusted, seasonally adjusted 261,000 for the week and to January 6th, the highest level since late September, the Labor Department said on Thursday. Claims have now risen four straight weeks. The increase likely does not suggest a material shift in labor market conditions, as claims data tend to be volatile during end-of-year holidays. Economists polled by Reuters had forecast claims falling to 245,000 in the latest week. Our third story of the day is from Investing.com. With a lower tax bill in sight, Walmart to raise its U.S. minimum wage. Walmart stores will raise entry-level wages for U.S. hourly employees to $11 an hour in February as it benefits from last month's major overhaul of the U.S. tax code, the company said on Thursday. Walmart, the world's largest retailer and private employer, said it would also offer a one-time cash bonus based on length of service of up to $1,000 and expand maternity and parental leave benefits. The pay increase, Walmart's third minimum wage increase since 2015, and bonus will benefit more than 1 million U.S. hourly workers, it said. Our uh, fourth story of the day comes by way of blogs at cdoe.com, Bitcoin and the Commitment of Traders Report. Those of us in the financial markets have been learning new phrases such as hash rate and block height and hard fork 
since the launch of CBOE Bitcoin futures last month. Crypto traders have embraced Bitcoin futures and are having to get up to speed on the list of markets. Something that is new to the crypto space is the commitment of traders report that is released by the CFTC each Friday. The following is directly from the CFTC's uh, COT report. The commitment of traders report provides a breakdown each Tuesdays of each Tuesday's open interest for markets in which 20 or more traders hold positions equal to or above the reporting levels established by the CFTC. And then it goes on to show the commitment of traders report for Bitcoin futures. And if you're interested and want to read that, surf on over to the optionsinsider.com. The fifth story of the day is also centered around cryptos. Crypto, uh, this is from investing.com. Cryptocurrencies hit hard by reports of South Korea trading ban. The prices of major cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, Ripple, and Ethereum, fell sharply on Thursday following reports that South Korea may be preparing to ban all virtual trading, uh, currency trading in the country. Bitcoin was trading at 13,410 by 5.41 a.m. Eastern Time on the Bitfinex exchange after falling to as low as 13,339 earlier. That pushed Bitcoin's market cap down to $230 billion. Ethereum, the world's second largest cryptocurrency by market cap, hit a low of $1,100 on the Bitfinex exchange before pulling back to trade at 1203.50. Meanwhile, Ripple's XRP token was trading at $1.71 on the Hawaiian exchange after falling to as low as $1.53 earlier. And we got one more story here for you today. Why not? Let's get crazy. This is from CNBC.com. Hong Kong's benchmark recorded its longest winning streak ever, partly thanks to the mainland. Hong Kong's benchmark Hang Seng Index has had a roaring start to the year. Wednesday's session saw the 51 stock index close higher for the 12th straight day, making the benchmark's longest winning streak since it was first started in 1969. That beat the 11 day streak last recorded by Hang Seng in 1999. On Thursday, however, the index took a pause, trading near the flat line as of 2.35 p.m. Uh, on weakness in some of its most heavily weighted constituents. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is news you can use. For today, January 11th, 2018, your options news rundown. I'm Dan Passarelli, TradeSmart, and have a great day. The Options News Rundown is brought to you by LevelTradingField.com, the online communication, research, and quantitative platform with the largest collection of financial tools for traders, including the innovative Bitcoin Market Predictor. The Bitcoin Market Predictor is a simple prediction game where 10 people place bets on the future price of Bitcoin, and the top three most accurate predictions wins. Sign up at LevelTradingField.com with promo code INSIDER. The Options News Rundown is also brought to you by Market Taker Mentoring, the leader in options trading education. Get trader education, daily trade ideas, and more with a free one-week trial of Market Taker Mentoring's Live Advantage Group coaching class by visiting markettaker.com slash insider.